Canada has announced 90,000 spots for a particular work visa in which you do not need an employer. You're able to apply for the work permit yourself and then you can start looking for a job. You can move with or without a job depending on your preference. This particular work permit only takes five weeks to process. It costs less than $180 and is a total steal if you know how to get it. So in today's video, we're going to explore yet another underrated, undercovered pathway to move to Canada. And if you are interested in moving to Canada, then make sure you stick around. My name is Nadina Gori and welcome back to my channel. I'm a career content creator who loves talking about different countries, different pathways and different ways to go global in your professional and personal life. I'm an immigrant myself, worked in more than 30 countries, lived in three countries and I hope that through my channel I'm able to share all the possible ways that you can use to go global just like I was able to. So consider subscribing to join the journey. And now let's talk about Canada. It's quite ironical that I'm shooting this video on my last night in Canada. I'm traveling tomorrow for my Go Global tour and I'm really hoping that I'm able to meet you guys. If any of the tours have happened before you see this video, you'll see snippets of the tour on the screen. We are going to Dubai, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, hopefully some other cities in India as well. So I really, really hope that I'm able to see many of you. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. Please, please, please make sure you check them out. In my few years of living in Canada, I realized that there are many underrated pathways that many people don't even know about and one of them is IEC International Experience Canada. In IEC there are three kind of pathways available that young people people between the age of 18 to 30 can use to move to Canada and that's what I'll be discussing today. I'm going to segment my video into three sections. First what are the different pathways that are available? Second what is the cost, timeline etc and third how do you go about and start your own journey? So let's come to part number one. Like I mentioned there are three pathways available. The first one is called working holiday. Here what you will get is an open Open work permit which will allow you to work for any employer that you want to work for in Canada. You can apply for this permit without having a job offer. So once you get this permit then you're free to apply for jobs whether you're living in Canada or outside. This lets you work for almost every employer in Canada but there are some exceptions. What I like about working holiday is just the flexibility that it gives. You don't really need a job so your permit is not tied to you finding a job. It's more about you getting the permit first and then looking for a job. Unfortunately working holiday is restrictive in nature meaning that these are country-wise agreements. So Canada has agreement with certain countries and only nationals of those countries are permitted to come to Canada and get the working holiday visa. So what do you do if you don't fit into the criteria for working holiday? Well then you go for option number two which is young professionals. This is for somebody who already has a job offer in Canada. So here you'll not be getting an open work permit, you'll be getting an employer specific work permit meaning that your work visa will only allow you to work for the employer who's sponsoring you to come. Of course in IEC there is no LMIA, no IELTS, so you're done with all of that, you don't have to deal with that but even then if you are coming under the Young Professionals program, you will get what's called an employer-sponsored work permit. The only requirement is that the job must count towards your professional development. Now, what if you're not able to find a job? Then you can go for option number three, which is international co-op or international internship. If you are a registered student, you can then do an internship in Canada and come to Canada and get an IEC permit under the international internship permit. If you are registered as a student who wants to do an internship, you can come to Canada, do an internship and get the IEC work visa under the international internship. Internship pathway. So these are all the three pathways. Now let's talk about segment number two of the video. What is the cost that it entails? How much time does it take? So according to the IRCC website, the current processing time is five weeks and it takes about $172 to process. Honestly, five weeks processing and $172 is like one of the cheapest work visas that I've seen in Canada. It is one thing to get an LMIA and all of that and go through that whole, you know, route of waiting for six months, eight months, 10 months, God knows how long, or going in for PR, which is also very expensive. This is a relatively unexpensive route and definitely worth trying for if you're serious about Canada. Which brings me to segment number three, how does one try? And for that, let's go straight onto the IRCC website and take our chances. Okay, so I am on the website. Now it says that you must be a citizen of a partner country, only then will you be able to apply to one of these categories. And then you can also apply to IEC yourself or you can use what's called an RO, recognized organization. This is going to be important. Just in a bit, I'll tell you about ROs. But basically, ROs are organizations that will support you before or during the experience. These are Canadian-based organizations that help foreign nationals and Canadian youth work and travel internationally through IEC. So they're very different from reps, obviously, but you know, either you apply yourself or you use an RO. So let's go and let's look at a partner country. Now you come here into this link and then you can make your selection. Just so far, I'm going to pick a country which is not listed, which is my home country, India. So let's pick India. 
and then let's see if it exists i know it doesn't exist on this list so you want to go here and then my country is enlisted so when you go click it says connect with recognized organization to learn about travel and work opportunities in Canada. That's why I said ROs are going to be important because for some countries, countries that are not listed on that list, they have to go through an RO. So let's look at uh, what the RO is, what are the options? And they give it right here as well. So list of ROs, the first one is Isaac Canada. Um, and you can see they help you with young professionals for career development. Target market is they help people between 18 to 30. And the eligibility is IEC countries, territories, Brazil and India. So if you're from India, from my home country, then this is how you need to go. Like you need to go through ISAC Canada. If you are a citizen of an IEC country or US, then Go International is also an option. If you are in a country where IAESTE has presence, it's like ISAC. If it has presence, then you can go through them as well because you can see their eligibility is, you know, people who are citizens from IEC countries or territories or IAESTE member countries so here's a link and you can go and see you know who all are IEC member countries but you can basically like see like, all of these countries can apply which I think is amazing. So it's not like if your country is not listed, there is no way. There is a way, of course, there's a way for everyone. It's just that the information is not presented in the most uncomplicated way. So you just have to sit and uncomplicate it for yourself. And there's also the option of going for IIN. This is more for citizens of Australia, Chile, yada, yada, yada. So a lot of European nations as well. There is a, a way to work, International Rural Exchange Canada. This is only for citizens of IEC. Languages Canada, same. Stepwise, same. Swap, same. So depending on where you lie with your nationality, you can reach out to different organizations. Now, if you are somebody who's a citizen of one of those countries that was already on the list, let's go quickly and look into the list itself. Let's pick Germany. And here you see the option comes up. Do you want to move or you want a working holiday so you don't need a job? Do you want to move as young professional so you need a job? Or do you want to move to do internships? So depending on wherever you want to go, let's say I want to do working holiday. Here I go and I can see that these are all the requirements. I have to be between the age of 18 to 35. That's it. This is all the requirement that's required. So you can you can go and check according to your nationality and see where you stand. And if your country does not have a treaty for IEC with Canada, then go through ROs or go through the recognized organizations. To you, it might seem complicated, absolutely impossible. To me, not so much because 90,000 spots have been allocated. This was also the number last year. So in 2023, also 90,000 spots were allocated to IEC. Same in 2024, and the government was almost able to fill the spots last year. So clearly people are using this pathway to move. And with this video, I'm hoping that you're able to do so too. On that note, this fun little video has come to an end. If you are considering moving to Canada, let me know in the comments and I will find more underrated pathways for you. Trust me, there are more than 120 good pathways to move to Canada because Canada gives a lot of authority to the provinces and each province has a wide variety of options to pick from and all you need to do is sit down put all of these things together and figure out which option works best for you and if you're not interested in canada let me know that as well because i'd like to cover any and every country that you are thinking of if you have any questions about iec put them down in the comments as well and please don't forget to like share subscribe to all the fun stuff i'll see you in my next video where i will uncover yet another beautiful country and multiple pathways to move there and i hope that you will join me on that journey until i see you again please make sure you take care of yourself stay safe Namaste.